Today I'd like to do a short demo recording of a beautiful flute which I just received back from Restoration by David Chu in Boston. This is a, a cylindrical wooden boom flute made by the Paris maker Florentin Barbier. Uh, Barbier was trained in the Godefroy and Lot shop. Barbier was one of the second string makers of French flutes and one of the most innovative uh, of all of the makers. <clears throat> he produced, for instance, a flute with a square bore, of which there are a number of examples. He made both conical boom flutes as well as cylindrical boom flutes, wooden and metal, as was typical for a Paris maker. This particular instrument came to me from Italy, and um, I think it's very beautiful both to look at and I enjoy playing it a lot. Uh, the boom flute is not my, my principal flute uh, for performing on. Uh, but I very much enjoy this instrument. It has a really nice feel to it, both in terms of the, uh, the me mechanism, but also the musical expression that one can get from the flute. As you can see from the photos, there are a number of strange things in the mechanism in particular uh, an adjustment area up here and another one back here. Uh, David Chu said that he'd never seen those on a flute before, so they are possibly unique and certainly they were one of Barbier's experiments. Sometimes his experiments uh, did not improve the flute. Uh, David said in this case it doesn't improve the flute or make it any worse but it certainly is interesting. I'm going to play two pieces from the flute treatise of Kohler. These are just little uh, sort of etude pieces that he wrote. Interestingly, Kohler was writing for the simple system flute, not for the boom flute, but I enjoy playing his pieces on the boom flute uh, quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> I think they, they provide uh, a good uh, example to get the some of the ideas of the palette of sounds that this flute has. So this was made most likely in 1891. At this time Barbier was working for the big French company Coinon and he, uh, he worked there for a fair amount of time winning uh, a number of very important medals this has a, a serial number of 636, uh, which is how we can date it probably to 1891. The flute came to me in quite good condition, but unfortunately there was evidence that the embouchure hole had been monkeyed with, even though it had the silver lip plate. Often when flutes have a silver lip plate, they're harder to mess with the embouchure holes, so often they survive better. But this one had been messed with, so I had David uh, make a new embouchure and a new silver lip plate for this flute. I think it was uh, quite successful. The flute plays uh, at around A435, as one would expect from that time. I hope you enjoy this.